So Clay, I wanted to get you in on our little detail video since you were the person that did the detail mm -hmm. and you were still here when I came by. So, so let's talk about these uh, micro lamb beams. How big are these? These are 16 inch by inch and three quarters a piece and there's three of them to hold this. So there's three 16 inch beams in here. Yes. That'd be pretty hard to lift up in there all at once, wouldn't it? How'd oh, you do yeah. that? I had another, another guy working with me and we had a pre-drill for all the electrical and then slide them in carefully and not pinch all the wires. So. so how did you, what do you mean drill for the electrical? Did you make slots or? No, we drilled a straight hole, disconnected electrical, pulled it through and then reconnected. On each layer? On each layer. On each layer. That's kind of time stake. Yeah. <laughs> Painstakingly uh, careful, but I guess it's a lot easier to handle one at a time anyway. Oh, very. very and nice. I was noticing I've never seen those fasteners before. So these are Timberlock fasteners. They're eight inches in length and they're supposed to hold as much as a half inch bolt. So if they're half, if they're eight inches in long, what are they hitting on the other side? They're hitting the current beam that's on the inside of the wall. So it holds the whole second floor on the main part of the house up. Oh, there was a beam there already? Yes. Oh, okay. So we got two beams, one next to each other. Yes. And that's probably why this is so big because uh, we're having to carry a second floor, not only not only just opening the ceiling, but we're carrying a second floor right there. Exactly. Okay, well then I, I forgive us for making such a big beam. Then. <laughs> that is a big beam. Well, I don't usually yeah. see a triple 16 inch micro lamb on such a short span, which is only what, 20 feet? 20 feet. That's a big beam for 20 feet. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, they're just trying to carry this roof, but I forgot there's one up above it. Yeah. So the beam that was in there already it's probably bearing on some intermediate wall and it's yes. not carrying the load. It actually has an additional wall right here that sticks out just enough to carry them and the current beams. And then on that side, it was just short of landing on the wall that we're gonna have in oh, place okay. in the future. So we've increased the span of this beam by this much at least and then some on the other side? Yes. Ah, so is this wall going away? No. But this one had to land over here because it can't be on this wall. Yeah. So it has to be a bigger beam, right? Exactly. Ah, so that's the detail, y'all. This beam has to be bigger even though there's a beam right next to it that's stopping here. And even though the wall is staying here, this can't land on it. Because we don't want this, we don't want to build this out and make it double thickness and stick out in this room. So this has to be bigger. And even I was surprised at how big it had to be. But Clay did it, and it looks, it looks incredibly strong, and I like those, those big old screws you put in there. They're as strong as a bolt, you said? A half-inch bolt. Wow. And they're only, what, three-eighths in diameter? Yes. Five-sixteenths, something like that? I've seen them, and I got a few of them. I saved a few as a souvenir. Oh, yeah, they work really good. <laughs> so uh, you have to use a... Uh, can you use an impact cordless on that to get them in? You can. It takes a while. We pre-drilled through the first three beams, and then the last one we were actually connecting, we let it grab into that good and ah, tight. Good, good. So what would you say about those beams? you think that's the best way to go in that situation? Yeah, yes, definitely. Unless you have to jack the whole house up and then take out the old beams and put new ones in otherwise. That's what you would have to do otherwise, yeah. yeah. So sandwiching next to a beam, we call that sistering. Mm -hmm next to another beam is a really good way to go because you can attach because that first layer attaches to the existing beam and keeps it all in place and then you just keep making it stronger and stronger right exactly. i should have been here when you were doing it that would have been a great <laughs> video but we get to see the results and then when we take all this out we're going to see that big old beam from side to side well thank you clay you You're did welcome. a great job